I think this should be fine. Even if the Sableye come, they won't find us. Let's rest a while. Oh, that's right. I totally forgot that Mammoth Swan's ability was thick fat. We'll head out again after a short time. Grovar. He's. I've noticed his amazing judgment and leadership ability. When he was working with Solo and Turtwig, he made it through a lot of tough situations. However, his strength and endurance. He has a strong will and doesn't believe in failure. I wonder where all that came from. By the way, that time, when that chunk of ice started falling straight onto my head. Don't tell me you, you were trying to protect me. It's a misunderstanding, Grovile. Let's get this straight. I really despise you. I really didn't want to help you in any way. Still, I protected you, because I believe I need your strength right now. To take out that new henchman. Are you saying I should help you? To take down the new henchman, that is? The new henchman is the final agent. Even if I hadn't asked you, you were going to challenge him anyway, weren't you? In order to take on the new henchman, you and I should team up. Depending on the situation, we may need to defeat Master Dialga as well. That situation would be ideal for you, I believe. How are your wounds from that chunk of ice? They're nothing to worry about. And compared to earlier, I appear to have regained much of my strength. The damage I received from fighting you before is much more intense even now. Ha! Huh. If you can come up with a load of complaints like that, you must be fine. We'll head out in a little while. But first... Something I wanted to ask. What is it? Grovile. You. You. Why do you fight so hard like this? Before you, you said it was for the future. You said you fight for a new life. But if you do, you'll disappear. Your existence will end. For me, that sort of thing, I cannot bear the idea. To make myself disappear, I will not allow it. With all that said, why do you fight so hard for such a goal? Thus, Noi, I understand that you don't want to disappear. But me? This is what I think. Even if we were to disappear, even if I were to disappear, I wouldn't truly disappear. What? Everything ends eventually. Even if history is not changed, even if the world of darkness continues in its current state, eventually the day will come when I won't be here anymore. Since that's the case, the timing of it doesn't matter. The important thing is not how long you live. It's what you accomplish with your life. With your life. With your life. What you accomplish. While I live, I want to shine. I want to prove that I exist. If I could do something really important, that would definitely carry on into the future. Got it memorized? No, not just into the future. In Solo and Turtwig's future, too. My spirit has become a part of them, I believe. In them, my spirit is alive. And that spirit could be passed along to others. And so, if I were to disappear, I think all that I have accomplished will go on. That is. That would mean... That's it, that it's living, right? Even if I disappear, I still live on. My spirit is alive. We've rested enough. Shall we go? This game is so good, man! Can all Pokemon games just be like this one, please? Ah, it's so good. That's some mad ice right there. Most real scene in Pokemon, period. It's... Definitely up there, if not number one. You're right. Those ice pillars stand out in places. At the top of those pillars, there's something placed there. They're crackling with electricity. This is a strange place. Yee. No, it's the snow run again. Get him. It's... Who is it? Relax. He's different from the ones we encountered before. I know. I wasn't looking for revenge or anything. I want to talk to him. It's useless to talk. You'll just end up with another painful experience. But, there's no trail, so we have no other way. Hey, you! Yee? Wait! 
Don't run away. I just want to talk. If you know, please tell me. Before us, did anyone come through here? Oh, them. Oh, you can talk. Yeah, I saw them. A bunch of scary-looking Pokemon went through here in a group. They were Sableye, I think. Is that true? Where did they go? They went that way. They went into Icicle Forest. Did you see only Sableye? No, it wasn't just Sableye. Now that you mention it, the Sableye were carrying a Pokemon. It was pink and very pretty, that Pokemon. Yep, definitely Celebi. Celebi. Celebi's already been captured. Any other Pokemon? I believe there should have been a Pokemon that looked much stronger than the Sableye with them. Ah, uh, let me see. Oh dear. What? That's some really mad lightning. Oh my goodness. That's so loud. Man, it looks cool. The pillar's electricity has gotten pretty intense. Ha 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 Oh, hey! It looks like it's calmed down. Hey, what is with him all of a sudden? At any rate, Celebi and the Sable, I should be up ahead. I couldn't get Snowrun to confirm it, but there's a good chance that Master Dialga and his new henchmen will be there. Yeah, that was our first clue. We won't let them get away. Focus, and let's go! Pretty sure this is the second to last dungeon now? Yeah, it's, uh... This one, and then one, maybe two more. I can't remember exactly, but there's definitely not more than, like, three. But I think it's just two. I think you're right. This one and the next. Oh, this wonderful, wonderful special episode is coming to an end, man. That is, uh, moderately scary. Quick attack. Go down. Easy knockout. Doink. Hello. How does Nintendo do it, man? The music in this game is always good. Literally, like, especially in the special episodes, like, every dungeon you go to, it's just like, oh, good, another good track to get to listen to. I love it. Floor 2, here we come. I don't remember how many, uh, floors this dungeon is, but I know- oh, that was the ditto. don't remember how many floors this dungeon is, but I know that the, um... The last dungeon is like 15 or so. It's a pretty long one. I don't even want you to pick up these stupid spikes. Totter Seed is mad. Was that a Metagross? Yeah, it was a Metagross. That's scary. 540 experience is pretty good. Gengar! What are you doing here? Easy knockout. Well done, Dusnor. What are you hitting? Oh, another Gengar. Goodbye, Gengar. Man, this is so, like, climactic sounding. Ah, oh, dang it. Hey, RTK, what's up, man? You on break or something? Yo, Wigglytuff's guild theme is very good. You're right. But this, this music is rocking. Goodbye. Easy knockout. Hey, level 48, not bad. Fave theme is don't ever forget. That is a really high quality one. You're right. I really like, like Dialga's final fight theme, Dialga's fight to the finish is obviously like very high quality. One of the best ones for certain. I forgot this is how rollout works in this game. Get out of here. Uh, I really like through the sea of time. Like when they're on Lapras's back and they're going over the ocean. I'm a big fan of that, of that track. There's just so much good music. Team Charms theme is really good too. I like it a lot. Goodbye, Weezing. Oh no, it's a Drift Blim. AKA Aftermath. Oh, it didn't Aftermath. Doesn't that thing have Aftermath? I thought it did. 
That's weird. Maybe it just didn't trigger for some reason. Arts again, what are you up to? You on work break or something? Today isn't one of your days off, is it? No. Days off are like Tuesday, Wednesday, because we're calling on Wednesday, aren't we? I think we are after my Persona stream. You've just listed my three fav favorite themes. Nice. Good taste. Good taste. It's like, honestly, people can say pretty much any, any, uh, any track in Mystery Dungeon, and I'll be like, yep, high quality, you're right. Because there's, like, no bad music in this game. It's almost all exclusively good. Even the ones that aren't, like, amazing, they're still fine. Like, there's no bad music that I can think of off the top of my head. It's always just, like, good music and then great music is pretty much all it is, and I love it. Do I have any plain seeds? Yeah, get that out of there. Two reviver seeds is pretty good. Whatever. What is this? Go ahead and just use that. Left it is. I was about to go up. Glad I did that. Hi, Metagross. Bye, Metagross. You tricky girl. Oh, you're still dead. Never mind. Didn't work out too well for you, did it? Ow. Where are you at, stairs? Where are you at? Gotta be getting pretty close to the end of this floor. Easy kill. Weezing are not as bulky as they normally are in this game, it seems. Better check the top left here. Dang it. Oh, nothing particularly bad happened. Nice. Reviver seat again? I'm not even going to bother trying to figure out how to get a totter to work. Goodbye, Gengar. Hardly knew ye. Okay, this is going to take a second. Anytime you want to help out Dusnor, that'd be great, man. Oh my goodness, come on, game. It took you long enough. I'm out. Oh, no. Oh, it's fine. He's dead. Can't counter if you're dead. It was at, uh, down and right here, huh? Oh, it might be in that middle section. Dang it. I swear, if I missed it there, I'm going to be pretty mad. Goodbye. Easy knockout. I think it's so good. This game, there we are. Tenth floor. Ultrano Krozma has a pretty good theme, from what I remember. I only heard it, like, the once when I fought him. But it was good. I really like the Elite Four theme from, uh... From, uh... Gen 7. It's one of my favorite Elite Four themes. Probably my favorite track from Gen 7. Hey, we made it. Looks like we made it through. I think the Sableye are up ahead. Let's proceed with caution. I would like to save my adventure, yes. This is. It looks like the deepest part of this ice-covered forest. Over there, I can see a remarkably large ice pillar. There's a mysterious feeling in the air. Is that... Egad! Who says that? Grovile, look! Over there. Just past those four huge pillars. Can you see anything? Yes, I can. Looks like someone's lying there unconscious. Come on. Ah! That is... Spiritum and Celebi. Celebi! Celebi, can you hear me? All these ice pillars are ticked. Yeah, man, they're mad. It's me. It's Grovile. Is someone holding you back? There's an odd keystone nearby. That means... Spiritomb. Hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Spiritomb, you. Why have you done this to Celebi? You're wrong. You're wrong. This was... This was not our doing. Don't lie. 
Explain why Celebi is like this. You've done this to me before, so I know it's you. Besides, if you didn't do this to Celebi, then who else could have? Oh my goodness. What? What is this sensation? Why? I don't understand why. Every nerve in my body is bristling. This is a bad sign. My instincts are screaming out that something's very wrong. But where is this feeling coming from? You're wrong, please believe us. What is it trying to tell me? This overpowering sense of dread. What have I failed to understand? What am I wrong about? Grovile! Celebi, you're awake! You! You sure picked a strange time to wake up. If we'd let you flee, we... Let Celebi go, Spiritomb. If you won't let her go, I'll knock you out. Don't make me use force. Don't come near. What? Oh, they got him. Gah! Yeah! Gah, yeah, we did it! Ha ha ha! Ah, you! My strength. I'm losing my strength. This is... We can go now, right? We're all done here, so we'll just be on our way. But behind Grovile is... Dustnor. We can go, right? What? What are you saying? <laughs> Get a hold of yourself, Spiritu. Remain with us a little longer. Wehehe. <laughs> Le gasp. Betrayal. Hehehe. <laughs> <laughs> Dustnor, you! What's going on? Listen, Grovile. Master Dialga's new henchman. From the start, it was never revealed. What? Everything? Everything has gone according to my plan. This icicle forest is a special place. If you're hit by the electrical discharge of these ice pillars, your spirit will be melted away. It was surprisingly easy to get you to stand in the center of these four pillars. That's where the power is the most concentrated. My spirit will be melted away? My plan, elegant and useful, it's this. Grovile, I lured you here for this purpose. After your spirit has been melted away, I will use your body. And in your place, I will return to the past. What? If Grovile goes back to the past... Solo and Turtwig will be so incredibly happy, don't you agree? They won't be the slightest bit suspicious. They will accept you as their friend. Sadly, the two innocents will be unaware of one flaw in their happiness. The body will be Grovile's. But the consciousness will be me. Everything we've done has been in preparation for this. The new agent? In fact, Grovile, it's you. <laughs> no. Oh no! Dusnor! This can't be real. I mean, when did you plan? You and I returned together to this world from the past. There wasn't any time when you could have told this plan to the Sableye. So how did you? No, there was time. That time, when we returned to this world and saw the Sableye the first time. Sableye. Wehehe, <laughs> Grovile. They found me already. I've got to get out of here as fast as I can. But Dusnor was still unconscious then. I thought I was the first of us to wake up. That was incorrect. It was the other way around. Dusnor regained consciousness before I did. So he woke up first and talked to the Sableye. This plan of his. <laughs> it's taken you long enough to catch on, Grovile. Ha 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 ha! Yeah! Grovile! <laughs> You've been in my way the entire time, and now your time is up. And when I inhabit your empty shell and return to the past, it will be child's play to take down Solo and Turtwig. <laughs> Top 10 anime plot twists. Give up now and let your spirit be melted away! Ah! Oh, was I... was I too trusting? I thought I could, but I... believed you. That's right, Grovile. Your weak point is that you're too kind. I've said it before. Allow me to repeat it for emphasis. I really despise you. Even when I shielded you, it was simply according to plan. 
You, you coward! Ha ha ha! You can babble whatever you like. In the end, you have lost. You've lost because you trusted me. No, I don't believe that. I wasn't wrong. I, I still trust you. Do my ears deceive me? Ha 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 ha! You say that even after all I've done. You still have trust in me? Yes. Despite that, I know what's in your heart, Dusnor. We had a moment of understanding. Ha! Huh. Then, we had nothing of the kind. Ah, yes. I'm sure as sure can be. While we were on our adventure, when we were pressing on through the dungeons, surmounting all challenges, while you were behind me, at some point, I sensed that your heal- your feelings- <laughs> I can talk. That your feelings of hatred vanished. What are you saying? That's impossible. I meant what I said. I despise you. That's all you sensed. I ask you to remember more carefully. It's not just something I sensed. I'm very cautious. And even with caution in place, while we were on this adventure together, I decided to trust you. Because I could sense your spirit. A spirit of loyalty. I could clearly sense your spirit. Your... your shining spirit. Shine. Shining? My spirit? Mine. You pledged loyalty to Primal Dialga, so you're trying to protect this world of darkness. But that just comes from the desire not to disappear. But really, for you most of all, is that enough? To survive like this here? Is there any honest happiness in that for you? The meaning of life. Think of what it truly means to live, Dusnor. What it truly means to live. My meaning. While I live, I want to shine. I want to prove that I exist. If I could do something really important, that would definitely carry on into the future. No, not just into the future. In Solo's and Turtwig's future too. My spirit has become part of them, I believe. In them, my spirit is alive. And that spirit could be passed along to others. And so, if I were to disappear, I think all that I have accomplished will go on. That is, that would mean that it's living, right? Even if I disappear, I still live on. My spirit is alive. Even if I disappear, my spirit is alive. Please remember, Dusnor, what I sensed in the dungeon that time. Your shining spirit. My spirit? There's nothing that... Nothing shines like that. You're... You're deluding yourself. <laughs> ah! Master Dusnor, are you alright? Shut up! Yeah! Am I... Has my spirit become a part of others' minds? Then, Grovile's existence. Only, it's too late now. Ah! Master Dusnor. Ah, Sableye. It's the same for you. Haven't you ever thought of the future or a new life? Giving into Primal Dialga and living your whole life in darkness? Is that truly what you want? Sableye, what does your heart tell you? Your sense of self-respect. Where is it gone? We're here. Ah! The electric... The electrical discharge is getting stronger. Can't hold on. My strength... My strength... Is draining away. If this goes on, Grovile can't... Spiritum! You can't let this happen. You can move, can't you? Do something! It's no good. My vision... Is going white. My spirit is going to melt away. Ah! My consciousness. My consciousness is fading. My consciousness. My spirit. Finally. Fading.
No. Uh, Dusk. Dusnor. Uh, Master Dusnor. Uh, uh, Master Dusnor. Rescued Grovile. Uh, 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 this is. Uh, uh, Grovile, are you alright? Uh, 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 barely. Uh, uh, Dusnor. Uh, you saved me. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> the big boss is here. Oh dear. Master Dialga. Oh, he mad. Ah! Master Dusnor. Oh, wow. Just please stop. He's already dead. Master Dusnor. Master Dusnor. We must protect him. Let's go. Well, here's why I'm not gonna do nothing. That's a steel dragon, you stupid idiots! Yeah, you. Yeah, need to move. My body, it won't do what I tell it to. Man, just beating them down. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, he's out. My, my paralysis is gone. Dialga, stop. Don't, Celebi. Ah, what? Ooh, Aurora. What's that? If I remember right, that's called an Aurora. A wind. A wind has started blowing. And up in the sky, there's an aurora. That means... The sun. The air has started to move. The paralyzed planet... Has started to move again! Could it be? History has finally... Changed! You did it! Solo! Turtwig! Oh, he's mad. Dialga! Primal Dialga has become more ferocious! Ah! Oh dear. Master Dusnor! Don't worry. I'm fine. It's more important to follow Master Dialga. The rest of you, take care of Grovile and Celebi. Hurry. I would like to say my adventure. <laughs> it's like Kingdom Hearts. It's, uh, this is Kingdom Spirits. They talk about spirits instead of hearts. Aw, oh, dude, I love this game, man. Did he really go this way? Yes, there's no mistaking it. Master Dialga was enveloped in this light, and then he vanished in the direction of this awesomely vast mountain. It's hopeless. What's wrong, Celebi? At the pinnacle of this mountain, there's a passage of time. You know what's strange? Even though I was caught, I never said where the passage of time was. Master Dialga went into even more of a rampage. He's no longer acting rationally. Maybe his instinct, pressed by his increased ferociousness, made him head for the passage of time. If Diago were to hit the passage of time while he's not in his right mind, what would happen, Dusnor? If that occurs, now that the world has finally started to move, I don't know what would happen. We need to stop him quickly. The light has gotten much brighter, huh? The sun is rising. Dawn is near. It took a long time to recover. From here on, Grovile and I, and Celebi, will move as a group of three. We need to fight as hard as we possibly can to stop Master Dialga. But, on the other hand, we'll be far less mobile if we bring the Sableye along. 
If we're not in time, then that's the end. Understood. All right. Let's prepare and then let's go. Master Dusnor. Grovile, Celebi too. What is it? We're ready too. For the future. Master Dialga needs to come to his senses. Yes, I understand. This is the final fight. We must bring Master Dialga back to his senses. That's right. This is what I've been fighting for all this time. Just a little more. Ooh, there it is. Huh? What was that? Don't! Tell me! Don't tell me this is... Huh? Grobot, what's wrong? No, it's nothing. Solo, just a little more. Everything we've done so far. Just a little more and we can achieve our goals. Until the end where I disappear. Lend me your strength! Solo. Dude, I love this game, man. It's so good. It's so emotional. I love it. Gotta go, Chaos. Tomorrow I'm off, so I'll be there for the whole stream. All right, cool, Lucid. See you tomorrow, man, for some Persona. Where's Arceus in all of this? He, uh, he got booted out of the game because they didn't want him in the game before he had his movie. <laughs>